Hi guys. So today I'm showing, going to show you how to do my beach mani. Um, so like these and um, anyway, so on this one though, I did a white, the seafoam is in white, so you can do it either way. And then on my mani, I did it in kind of a, you know, seafoam color. So however you like it is how you could do it. So anyway, we're going to start out with, now on these ones, I just was clear behind my nail art, but on this one, I wanted to try it with the taupe first. Uh, so that when you draw your footprints or whatever, you know that it won't be clear behind. It'll have something behind it. So anyway, I started out with that, and I will put the names of everything in the information box of all the products I use. Right now I'm going to put on some True Gel. It's kind of a real pretty... And I'm going to just do this up at the top. How much do I want to do? So from the top down, we're, this, we're going to put this color gel. Just a soft, pretty blue, about down about so far. We want to leave enough sand so we can do something. And then that's just one coat of this. If it's easier, turn it this way and do it. And then we're going to go ahead and do that. And, and then I think we're going to put a little bit of, actually I think I'll do the top first. I think it's easier just to do the top. So I'm going to add a little bit of this blue, electric blue by True Gel too. It's a gel polish as well. And add to the top of this. Now I haven't set it yet as you probably noticed, but I'm going to do that pretty soon. So we're just going to do... I'm just going to kind of add it, just kind of soft over it, you know, just to give it kind of pretty, kind of, you know, the ocean's got kind of varying shades of blue and, you know, whatever in it, so not too heavy, though. Um, so that's how it looks so far. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set it yeah, for 30 seconds. Um, you can set it for 60 if you want. Actually, I think this little thing sets for 45 seconds. So we're just going to do it once. And so altogether we have pretty much like a heavy one coat or two coats at the same time before we set it, just to save a little bit of time too. Now, you can do this all at once if you want to, the top and the bottom, but I've done it both ways, and I, for me, I found that it's easier if I go ahead and do the top half and set that first as far as the color, the gel polish goes, and then we're going to do the bottom part where we do the sand look after this is done. For me, that was a little bit of the trickiest part, so I'm going to do that taupe again. This is by Jillish instead of True Gel. This next two colors. And I'm just going to put put some here. Don't overlap your blue. Just kind of put it up. It doesn't have to be completely exact. You know, just get it close. Um, there. And then I want mine a little bit lighter. If you can see mine here. You know, more like the sand I'm used to. So I'm going to do delicious white. It's Arctic Freeze. And I'm going to add, kind of go just kind of, maybe not get too much on here. And just kind of go through it. Kind of just go through the... Do that. And you can probably find a faster and easier way to do it, but that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to take my little wipe off all the excess off my taupe one or at least most of it, and then go over the white part. And if there's a little bit of white edge right there, you know, where the it butts up to the blue, don't worry about it because we're going to do our, um, you know, our little wave ocean foam, whatever, <laughs> that's white part there anyway. And it doesn't have to be exact on this either because sand kind of varies in colors. Just get it, you know, the way you like it. Okay, so we're going to leave this wet and we're going to do our sand. So how I do my sand is, now you could probably use a dipping powder. This is not, uh, technically. This is Crystal Clear by Clarité. 
which is acrylic powder and um, and it needs to be clear whatever you use now I'm going to just use this little scooper thing I got um, you might be able to you know I don't know if you can dip it or whatever but you could try that I guess but so I'm going to overlap my line just a little bit and I'm just going to pour this over it until I get it covered really good so that it stays so it doesn't just I don't know so it's absorbed fairly well to that wet gel polish and then I'm just gonna kind of tap it off some and I'm guessing I probably am gonna have to add a little bit more now if you want to dip the bottom where the edges you can do that just you don't really want it covering your whole blue though. So I'm going to take a little brush that I have that I use for, you know, powders and things. And I'm just going to very gently, because remember, we haven't set that yet. We have not set that yet. So we just want to be really gentle when we're wiping off that excess powder. I guess if you wanted to, you could go ahead and set it, you know, if you're worried about being too heavy handed. So I am going to, oh, I can't set it. That's right. Sorry. Never mind. You can't set it yet. So strike that. <laughs> you have to leave it like this. And so next what I'm going to do, because we're going to write in it, and we have to, you know, we can't set it before we write in it. So I'm going to use this smallest end of my dotting tool, the smallest dotting tool that you have. And I'm going to do the footprints. Now you could do the hearts. I have hearts and I have little paw prints here that are really cute. Cool. If you have a little dog and you want to do that, or a heart, or whatever you want to do, or your initials, or your boyfriends, or husbands. But I'm going to do the footprints. And so all I do is I'm going to be, and you have to be light-handed with this, but I want the footprints to go that way. So I hope you can see this good enough. So I'm going to do the big toe here. That would be, and you got to, this is where you got to be kind of light-handed because your other toes, you don't want them too big. And then just kind of up close, but not all the way to the toes. Just kind of do, you know, the foot part. It's not perfect it doesn't have to be but this is the part I think you have to be the most careful because you don't want to gouge it or you know mess up anywhere else before you get this thing set so I'm going to do a second footprint kind of offset from this one up a little higher and wipe off your you know the excess sand you got on your tool first and we're going to start with the big toe and hard to do this so that you can see it while well, I'm working on it, but uh, maybe someday when I get rich, I can have a camera that's over me. So I'm doing the big toe first. You can see the big toe over here, maybe, hopefully, right there. And then I got to do the little ones right next to it, real close, not too close, but close enough and tiny. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just as perfect as you want it to be. And you don't even really have to do on the second one the whole footprint. If you wanted to put this one down lower, you could have done that. And you can put them however you want them, but that's how I'm doing this one. So now that I've got my footprint, I'm happy enough with it. And if you had to carefully lightly pat the edge, if you smooshed it too far to the edge or sticking up too far, you can do that just very gently, though. Okay, now we get to set it. Okay. And I am going to set it twice on this because I want to make sure that that's, my sand is set really good so it doesn't mess up because there is nothing over this sand. I don't top coat that. I only top coat this part. No top coat there. We need to do this, our little wave foam edge, whatever, there. Um, we're going to do that and we're going to stamp this, our foam right here too. Um, and then I'm going to put a, a no white top coat over that. So anyway, not to hopefully make it too confusing, but <clears throat> really pretty easy. Um, you know, the trickiest part, like I said, is when you're working with the sand to be really careful so you don't gouge it somewhere or, you know, don't get too heavy handed with it. So I'm setting it twice and then I'm going to put my stuff up. And we're going to get ready so we can stamp. So the plate I'm going to use is uh, Lena. And it's her new 
summer 03 that I love. Um, and this time we're not going to use, we're just going to use part of this, just a, like a little, you know, I'm just going to use like a little slice of it um, for my foam. <clears throat> so that's the only stamping that's going to be on this, but, and I am going to use the kind of sea foam color and so the white, but like I said, this one here, you know, is with the white and it looks really pretty too. So whichever you prefer or whatever you have, if you don't have this, then you can use white. So here we go. So that's how it looks so far. And we're going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> stamp our foam on there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it, just a little corner of it, because I'm not going to cover the whole thing, you know, because the water kind of moves around here and there. And so. Hopefully I got enough though. This nail is ginormous. This would be perfect for a regular nail, but it may not be very much for this one. So I'm just going to put it up over, so I just kind of did it over like, you know, a third to half and just kind of put it up over here, across over there. Yeah, see this thing's so huge that <clears throat> I could have put more on there, but Maybe I will put just a little bit more. See if I, hopefully I won't mess it up. And just kind of put it where I want it. So <clears throat> I think I'll put it maybe just right there. There we go. That's better. That's closer. Yeah. Okay. So now that we got that stamped, I'm going to go ahead and get my, you know, I need my white one, and then a detail brush, like this, okay, hello, <laughs> like that one, and I'm just going to kind of get some of this gel polish, white gel polish on here, and I'm just going to go across here, I'm just going to kind of, you know, just kind of do it almost like an X kind of thing across here just right where the lines that where the two meet the sand and the and you can do this as heavy or light as you want you know however you like it there I think that looks great looks fine and so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and set that one just really quick that's the most time-consuming part of this is just setting these you know, gel polishes. So we can go ahead and move our plate. So that was Lena Summer 03. Just love that one. And I will go ahead and put all this stuff in the, like I said, the information box so that you'll know what I used. And then I'm going to use for our top coat, not over the sand part, just over the top part, over the water part, and over that little, you know, the little bit of white, um, you know, sea wave foam thing here. So from here up, I'm going to put this over, and it's a no wipe top coat. Uh, you can use a wipe top coat, you know, clear wipe top coat, um, a cleanse one if you want to. You know, I just don't want to mess with the cotton fuzz around my sand. And so, okay, so we're going to do that. Go ahead and put this on now. It's kind of fun, and it's, you know, it's fun to personalize it and make the sand, you know, however you want it to be also. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it this way. It's easier for me to go from this angle. And I'm going to start right over. If you get a little on your sand, don't worry about it, because it'll just look like it's, you know, wet from the water, which is... Uh, really common, huh? <laughs> the beach. I love the beach so much. It's my definitely my happy place, the ocean, the beach. So anyway, just want to make that sure that's really smooth. Okay, so now we just put this in and set it. See how easy that is? I just love it. I, these are some of my favorite manis when, you know, they look really complicated and whatever, but they're pretty easy. Some of the 
I think some of the most beautiful, fun manis are the ones that are pretty simple, actually. Um, so it's worth it if you if you think this is a little much, you know, it really is worth it. It's a lot of fun, um, and you can do like I, like I said, this one here is is my I did my little Chihuahua's footprints in here. This one here, you could probably do better ones, paw prints, and then. These I both did in footprints. And then here's a heart here. The cool thing about this heart, if you do clear, is that when the light shines, I don't know if you can see it in this video. Oh, probably not, dang it. You can actually see the heart through, it's really cool. Well, sorry, if you can't see it, uh, sorry about that. But So anyway, so this is it. Really fun and I hope you enjoy doing this, Manny. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like, and please click on the bell icon so that they'll send you a notice for my next new video, which will be really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.